Well, it's time to meet this week's second chance pets. And this morning, we have a trio of kittens looking for a forever home. These adorable fur balls are part of a growing trend when it comes to kitten season. Yeah, local shelters over recent years have been facing busier and busier kitten seasons that have lasted for longer, too. That includes the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. It's where we find our friend Sam Ellingson joining us live this morning to introduce us to three of these little guys and talk about some of the latest trends for this year's kitten season. Good morning, Sam. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having us. We've got all three on camera. It's I think it's going to be a rare occurrence, but you saw them for a minute. Uh, <laughs> they have been rampaging around the room in the cutest fashion you can possibly imagine, just doing all of the things we might want to see. Oh <laughs> yeah, there we go. go. Kitty yep. shenanigans. Oh, so who do you have here <laughs> with you today? So we have um, Checkers. Checkers is the black and white cat. Misty is the gray cat. And this little orange one right here is called Cheeto. Aww. Oh my god! Oh, she she was like she like laid down for you yeah, as soon as like you started scratching. Yeah. scratching. She was like, give me those scratches. Okay, so yeah, exactly. we, we are talking about these three kittens, but they are you know part of kitten season as mm -hmm. as we were talking about. So, what what is the latest with that kitten season data? You know, it's we always see this spike in kittens around this time of year, but to Emily's point, mm -hmm. it's it's kind of more drastic than it has been in previous years, and that kitten season is lasting longer than before. Yeah, so we're here with three kittens, and on the other side of this door, we have 41 kittens who are looking oh, for homes, yes. and more kittens in our foster homes, and more kittens who are still staying at the shelter who are not quite ready for adoption. Wow. What you see right now is what we're seeing in our trending kittens arriving in the shelter this year. You'll see that light green number, that light green line that is scaling up much higher and much faster than we've seen in previous years. So it's our expectation that we're going to continue to see that climb. Uh, and it's going to climb, it's going to mean that our capacity for kittens is going to be reached much sooner than it would otherwise. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're not even to the peak of kitten season by that data and mm -hmm. already yep. uh, skyrocketing to some big numbers this year. So what can folks at home do? Um, I mean, kittens are so, so, so cute. I know there's a lot of people that think, gosh, I wish I could adopt them all, but there are several ways that people can help out with kitten season. Yeah, right. Absolutely. So one of the most important ways that folks can help us manage the kitten population and manage our population in the shelter is actually by helping us prevent kittens from spending time in the shelter. So one of the best ways that people can do that is by becoming a foster. So if someone is interested in having some of this adorable madness in their home for a handful of weeks, being a foster is a great way to do that. Uh, we have opportunities for fosters ongoing throughout the year, but this is certainly one of our largest and most important times for fosters uh, to, to help out with our population. One of the other ways that people can help with that is if they find kittens out in the community to really take some time and consider whether or not those kittens are actually in need of your help because sometimes they're gonna be out there with their mom, they're gonna be much better with mom than they would be with us in a foster home. So we want people to continue to be informed about how they can best support kittens who are <laughs> found outside. Um, and, and they can head to our website at hssw.org slash stray kittens, and they can find some guidelines for how and when kittens who are living outside might need some help. Mm. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great call. That's a great call. And, and when you, when you do adopt, you know, you got the, the cute kittens, you got the older cats that, that also need a home. But if you are adopting a kitten instead of, you know, that, that older cat, or I'm not even going to say senior, but maybe a more adult, yeah, adult cat, cat, you know, what are the major sure. differences there? Yeah, and you bring up a good point, of course. One of the greatest ways that folks can help out is by adopting, of course. That's why we're here. We're finding new homes for these kittens. You know, when we talk about bringing a kitten home versus an adult cat, there are going to be pluses and minuses, right? Kittens are brand new. They're babies, right? They have a lot to learn about being in a home. Now, the great thing is a lot of our kittens have already spent time in foster. These kittens are a perfect example. They've spent most of their time in foster with us, so they're already pretty well adapted to a home. But when you do bring a new kitten home, you also want to make sure that you're sort of kitten proofing your home, making sure you don't have any um, hazards left out in the room where they might be able to chew on a piece of string or wire or something like that. And of course, our, our staff is here to help families uh, best understand how they can keep their home safe for their kittens so they can grow up to be healthy, strong, playful members of the family. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so if you're thinking, okay, maybe this year is the year that we're going to do it, you saw that data, here's your sign. This is the kitten season. If you've been holding out, you want to bring some right. new babies home. Also, at the end of the month, you guys are uh, putting out a little extra incentive. Yeah, that's right. We're going to have an adoption promotion at the end of the month. We're going to be waiving fees for all pets 
That's going to be the last weekend in June. We're not quite there yet, of course, and we still want folks to come in and adopt right now, but we're doing everything we can to make sure that we can manage the population of animals in the shelter, get them into loving homes so we can make space for more pets who are out in the community and need our help. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, yeah. we appreciate you giving us the scoop this morning, Sam. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, we'll and enjoy kitten playtime. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. They're so cute. All right, well, if you're interested in meeting one of them or two or all three or all of them, uh, go to hssw.org if you're looking for that pet that needs a new home.